we, this people, on a small and lonely planet, traveling through casual space, past the loose stars, across the way of indifferent suns, to a destination where all signs tell us it is possible and imperative that we discover a brave and startling truth. And when we come to it, to the day of peacemaking, when we release our fingers from fits of hostility and allow the pure air to cool our palms, when we come to it, when the curtain falls on the minstrel show of hate and faces hooked with scorn or scrubbed clean, when battlefields and coliseums no longer rake our unique and particular sons and daughters up with the bruised and bloody grass to lie in identical plots in foreign lands. When the rapacious storming of the churches, the screaming racket in the temples have ceased, when the pennants are waving gaily, when the banners of the world tremble stoutly in the good, clean breeze, when we come to it, when we let the rifles fall from our shoulders and children dress their dolls in flags of truth, when landmines of death have been removed and the aged may walk into evenings of peace, when the religious ritual is not perfumed by the incense of burning flesh and childhood dreams are not kicked away by nightmares of abuse. When we come to it, then we will confess that not the pyramids with their stones set in mysterious perfection, not the garden of Babylon hanging as eternal beauty in our collective memory, not the Grand Canyon kindled into delicious color by western sunset, nor the Danube flowing its blue soul into Europe. Not the sacred peak of Mount Fuji stretching to the rising sun. Neither Father Amazon nor Mother Mississippi, who without favor nurture all creatures in the depths and on the shore. These are not the only wonders of the world. When we come to it, we, this people, on this minuscule and kissless globe, who reach daily for the bomb, the blade, the dagger, yet who petition in the dark for token for peace. We, this people, on this moat of matter, in whose mouths abide cankerous words which challenge our existence, yet out of those same mouths can come songs of such exquisite sweetness that the heart falters in its labor and the body is quieted into all. We, this people, on this small and drifting planet, whose hands can strike with such abandon that in a twinkling, life is sapped from the living. Yet those same hands can touch with such healing, irresistible tenderness that the haughty neck is happy to bow and the proud back is glad to bend. Out of such chaos, of such contradiction, we learn that we are neither devil nor divine. When we come to it, 
we, this people, on this wayward floating body, created on this earth, of this earth, have the power to fashion for this earth a climate where every man and every woman can live freely without sanctimonious piety and without crippling fear. When we come to it, we must confess that we are the possible. We are the miraculous, the true wonder of this world. That is when, and only when, we come to it.